Last time on Dino Sapien. <laughs> it's got something stuck in it. It looks like an arrowhead. How about if I take a closer look at it, okay? Let you know what I find. And you want me to help you find your parents. Kit, he's a teenager, just like us. Everyone thinks dinosaurs are extinct, but what if they're wrong? <laughs> you told way funnier jokes at home. Maybe you should just slow it down. You told the punchline too fast. Yeah. Hey, and you better speed up. You only have six minutes. I know, but you try and tell the entire history of dinosaurs in six minutes. Oh, Dr. Akins! Dr. Akins! Aren't you two a couple of happy campers? Dr. Akins, what did you find out about our dino fossil? The one with the arrowhead in it? Yeah, the one that was part of our research project for you? Oh, right. Well, sadly, it turns out it wasn't a fossil or a dino, only an old buffalo bone. Oh, really? Can I have it back? I want to look at it again. I'm afraid I didn't keep it. Oh. oh. Why would you do that? It belonged to the campers. Mm. You're right. I wasn't thinking. Come on, guys. Uh, Dr. Aiken, uh, you're coming to our talent show tonight, right? Wouldn't miss it. I'll be attending with Dr. Slater. Great. You haven't seen a green file anywhere, have you? I need it for my appointment at the bank. Your briefcase. Oh, thank you, honey. Aikens is in Dad's office. Did you give him a key? Clive can't work at the motel in town. It's too noisy, and he's on a deadline to finish his book. But all Dad's stuff is in there. He won't touch anything. Well, what happens when Dad comes back? He's not going to, honey. I'll never stop loving him, and I know you won't either, but I'm not going to mourn him forever. It's not what he'd want. He'd want us to celebrate his memory and live our lives to the fullest. Are you gonna date this guy? Where on earth did you get that idea? Clive is an old family friend, and when you get to know him- That is better, never gonna happen. Of course they're not gonna start dating. Even they know they're too old. That's not the point. If Akins is in the office, then you might find my dad's dinosaur theory. If you couldn't find it, how can he? 
I don't know. But if we find it, then it could tell us where the dinosaur's world is. What? World? Oh, I don't believe what I'm hearing. There is a whole world full of them? It's underground in the Badlands. That's where Eno's parents are. Hey, look, it's the park ranger. What's he doing here? Hey, what's up? Some people were attacked last night by some animal. It was up by the ghost town. You said the campers are inside this afternoon. Yeah, there's a talent show. Good, keep them there. We're gonna patrol the perimeter of the camp just to make sure that whatever was out there is gone. Okay, thanks. yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Um, just out of curiosity, what did the people say they saw? One saw something green with feathers, and the other only saw some giant chicken feet. <laughs> They're from the city. <laughs> The Dawn of the Dinosaur. Ow! Stop it! Why can't I be the raptor? Because, now get off the stage. Your era's ended. <laughs> Good evening, Campazords! Have you heard the one about the dinosaur without a neck? Nelson! Not your cue! What is my cue anyway? You have to tell Chris about Eno. But what if I tell Chris and he tells the park ranger? He won't, because you're going to have to get him on your side. How? You're going to have to play the L card. The love card? Well, I don't know how. Yes, you do. It is in our DNA. I can't fake it. There's got to be another way. Fine. But you know what? If you want the whole world to find out about your dinos. Did you just say dinos? We met your dinos. Let's take it from the top. for 65 million years, long before any human who made this arrowhead could have existed. So how did this arrowhead get here? Please leave us a message after the tone and we'll get right back to you. Sweetheart, it's Mum. Are you there? You're not, okay. I'm gonna be late for the show, but listen, Lauren. Don't be mad at your mum, all right? I love you. Mom. Good. Hey, Chris. I'm not so sure you should be out here. Why? Have you seen something? No, not yet. You know, that color looks really good on you. Really? I never thought a gray is a color. <laughs> okay, I can't do this. Chris, I haven't been straight with you. What do you mean? Well, I'm not really sure how to say this, but there's someone I need to tell you about. 
somebody you really like. Yeah. Look, I know. Really? Yeah. But Kit's cool. Chris, no, it's not. Chris, you didn't happen to see any uh, strange tracks over, did you? Strange how? Uh, like a large bird. I saw a, a, a track over here. That's awfully close to camp. You two look busy. I'd better go. She sure took off. Yeah, I think she's in a hurry to go see someone. Oh, we should go look at that track. All right. Hillary? dinosaurs. The reign of the mighty beasts has come to an end, but their descendants live on today. Our fine feathered friends, the birds. They're gonna hate me. I'm gonna hurl. Nelson, it's camp, not Broadway. Just stage fright. You gotta take cleansing breaths. Inhale and exhale. Break a dino leg. I love the sound of applause. What do you get when you dinosaurs? Did you know that I played Juliet in my school play last year? Yeah, you told me like five times. What did the horned dino call his restaurant? Steakosaurus! Oh. by Sioux warriors from 1600 to the 1880s. Dr. Aikens, what are you doing here? I, um, I had to do some research. I just heard this noise upstairs, and the TV was on when I got here. It's nothing. We have trouble with the electricity. It's ancient. Things just go on and off. I see. Better check it out. <laughs> shh, shh. You have to be quiet, understand? There's someone downstairs he can't know about you. the upstairs TV, weird electricity. You know, um, the talent show has already started. You wouldn't want to disappoint the kids by not showing up. Yes, of course. I was just leaving. It's probably none of my business, but I think your mother would appreciate a little help with the housekeeping. Okay. Actually, it's a coat hanger. I can't believe this. I'm correcting your English. Have you heard the one about the dinosaur? No. no. Oh, that's okay. No one ever tells it anymore. It's extinct! <laughs> <laughs> he knows at my house! Shh. He knows at my house. What? what? He wanted coat hangers. Never mind. Oh, I, I gotta get him out of here. Aikens almost caught us. And then there's Chris. You didn't... You didn't tell him about Eno? 
Not exactly. Oh, you got a plan. Yeah, if you can help me. Oh. Courtney, oh, keep so everyone so inside. Sarah, the show's almost <laughs> over. We'll stall, improvise, do anything. Just keep the coast clear for our escape. Come on. Why does he want all this stuff? I don't know, but it must be important, otherwise he wouldn't have come here. It's okay, you know, kid is a friend. Friend? Friend? I was gonna tell you, but I figured you'd want to see it. Friend? Yes, you know, kid is a friend. Ah, great. Friend. He doesn't think I'm food, does he? No. He's kind of like a parrot. He just repeats sounds. You want to go home? Home. Good. I think he's smarter than a parrot. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Where? Where art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father? and refuse thy name? Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll totally no longer be Capulet. You said the dinosaurs hadn't died out, and you were right all along. But none of the experts believed you. What a pity. Of course, now I have the proof you never found. A simple arrowhead in a dinosaur bone. Oh, it's staggering. Dinosaurs were here 200 years ago, hunted by the Indians. What if they're still here? I'll need more proof of their existence. Clive, come on, we're late. Now what? Well, we can't run for the woods. They'll see us. Don't worry, Eno. We'll get you out of here. Lauren. You know my name? Lauren. Come, Knight. Come, Romeo. Come, thou day and night. Come, Romeo. Come, Romeo. <laughs> uh, cool, you like Shakespeare. Uh-oh. It sounds like the show's over. Oh, what a shame. Come, Romeo. Shh, Eno. No one leaves until I say they do. Courtney's stalling, but the kids are still gonna come out. Let's take it from the top. Okay, you distract my mom and Aikens. I've got an idea. All right. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Dr. Slayton. Sounds like Courtney's doing her encore. Let's go. Oh, lovely. Yes, yeah, lovely. Hey. Hey, look. I'm glad for you and Kit. Thanks. No, wait, Chris. Kit and I are just friends. Really? I mean, that's great that you guys are just friends and you get along and everything, because uh, you're just friends. We're all clear. Big surprise. No sign of the green feathered bear with bird feet. Thanks for looking anyway. Green feathered bear? You never know. <laughs> there could be all sorts of things out there.
Aiken shouldn't be in here. This is your office. You were right, Dad. There are dinos alive today. I wish you could meet, you know. Maybe you could tell me why he's here.